Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky and today what we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit further with this uh, watermarks of mass destruction and we're going to make it so that we can do more than one photo at a time with the watermarks. So let's get started. Well, we could do something with this one here and add it so that it's possible to have uh, more than one done at the same time. And to do it, we're going to need to put in a repeat with each action and it's possible, but let's do it a different way. Let's make it a bit more sort of uh, useful. We'll go into uh, my shortcuts here, and what we're going to do is we're going to start by making a new one, and I'm going to do a shortcut which brings in another shortcut. Now, first of all, what we want to do is we want to make it so that this is going to be something that's available on the share sheet, so we'll add that there. Share sheet types, anything? No, not anything. We want it to be images only, so let's put on images. And then we go to details and it's going to be bulk watermark. We don't need it on Apple Watch and that's about all we need to do there. Let's move on. Now we want this to be able to run so that it's available in the share sheet, but we also want it to run so that it's available to pick the images directly from the Photos app. So what we need to do is first of all put in an if action. So let's do that. Drag it and drop it in there. So if the shortcut input doesn't have any value we're going to do select uh, photos put that in there we can get rid of the other ones because we don't need that now we need to put in our repeat with each repeat so I'm going to repeat with each item in the if result and next we need to bring in the run shortcut So rather than having one shortcut, which is going to get a little bit bloaty by having so much in there, we can do it with two shortcuts. We use the bulk watermark shortcut when we want to do more than one image. And if we're only just doing one of them, we just use the WMD, which is watermarks of mass destruction just by itself. So run shortcut. Let's do a search. M D. And that's the one we want. Show more. Input is the repeat item. Now this should work. Let's have a look and see if it does. So let's run it from here first of all and see what happens. Well it brings up the Photos album as we expected there and I'm going to choose a picture of my motorbike. And you can see that in my watermark folder over there now I just have the one picture in there and it's got the watermark on there. Done and dusted. Perfect. Let's go back into Albums. Let's go into Recents and this time we're going to pick up two photos and select them now I'm going to pick up one of my photos from my motorbike from yesterday and a picture of a horse select the share item and we want to choose bulk watermark there it is it has run Let's close that down there. I can, uh, let's have a look in the uh, uh, recents. Cancel that. Go to albums. Go to watermarked. And you can see we've got just two pictures in there now when we should actually have three. For some reason or other, it didn't do one of the pictures. Let's go back into our shortcuts folder here and do go to the bulk watermark. And I think what we need to do is we need to um, do a continue in. So let's do continue. Uh, continue shortcuts app and we'll put that in there now put that in there because we've already got a continue shortcuts app in the WMD uh, shortcut and this should work let's try it out let's first of all sort of uh, select all the photos in here and delete them just to uh, remove from album no, I didn't mean to remove I wanted to delete them completely but never mind let's go back to albums go into recents and uh, do a select and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick those two pictures again select pick one of the bike and pick one of um, my bike again in a different position different place go for the share sheet okay bought watermark let's go for it 
and it's run so let's have a look now so from uh, recents uh, cancel out of that go to albums go to watermarked and you see now it's worked we've got uh, the two photos in there as there should be so let's do that there just just have a look to see that the photographs have been watermarked the watermarks are in the bottom right hand corner as be expected and we'll do one more time and this time we're going to do it with three photos just to show that it can be done with more than two we'll go into recents and we'll go to select we'll pick these two pictures of horses and also pick um, this one of me trying on a motorbike jacket in a motorbike shop go to the share sheet again and this time I'm going to go for the bulk watermark again and it's running and it's done so let's come out of that let's cancel that go into albums go to watermark and we said that's worked already because we've got five images in watermark now when we had two before and we see that the extra pictures there that one that one and that one were all just added and everything worked so that's how you can bulk watermark your photos and do it by running the shortcut to bring in the watermark of mass destruction that we did before so there you go have some fun and see what you can do with watermarks and if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see done in shortcuts put something in the comments and i'll see what i can do can't promise but i'll have a go bye bye now this is dave allen for good and geeky